It was my first game on Starboard that I quickly realized. Oh my god, they shoot you right off the bat. But only a few minutes into the game, I was feeling good. Got you. Killing spree. This map has a few secrets, but the oh, basics yeah. will take you far. Right here. Got him. And by understanding them, I was able to do this. Ah, oh, I finally died. Now, if you're the kind of Spartan who likes hiding behind a nice, solid piece of cover, well, I hate to break it to you, but Starboard might not be your favorite map. It might be your worst nightmare. Cover here is about as abundant as a unicorn in a horse stable. But let's not despair. If you need to scamper from one side of the map to the other, I'd suggest taking the scenic route via P side. It has a sneaky little curb slide that's as fun as it is useful. You can just go into the enemy's base without them even looking if you time it perfectly. Finally, we have the star of our show, my favorite spot on this entire map to escape and be safe. The humble pallet. You can crouch behind it pretending you're invisible, but beware. This is all an illusion because once it's gone, it's gone. And then it's just you and a whole lot of incoming bullets. It's symmetrical. What does this mean? It's simple. It means you're going to get shot in the back equally from both sides. A fun, balanced experience for everyone. Now, there are three little things you need to know, so gather around, sloths. This map may be symmetrical, but that doesn't mean it lacks character. In fact, it has three noteworthy features. The vents, the P, and get your chuckles out now, the hole. Let me repeat that again. Vents, P, hole. I, I should have chose a different order. First, let's talk about the vents. You can venture down into them like some secret agent, but the real party trick is going up. That's right. Channel your inner Santa Claus, and remember, up the chimney you go. There's even a cheeky one on the side next to the repulsor for when you're feeling particularly sneaky. Next up is what I fondly call the P. Now, I know what you're thinking, and no, I'm not even going to talk about it. There are children here, for God's sakes. This is P. Scaling it is as simple as making toast, but it's oh so crucial if you plan on mastering the spawn control. If you get up here, just be prepared to be called the P King and for literally everyone to shoot you. And last but not least, we have the hole. Yes, this is what sets this map apart, the hole. Now, if you take one piece of advice from today's video, let it be this. Do not sprint jump over this thing. Trust me, you don't need to. All it will earn you is a lost reticle. So if you must insist on sprinting everywhere like a gazelle, kindly exclude the hole from your sprinting adventures. It's unnecessary. Now, how do we communicate on this map? We all know communication is key. You'll need your team to know exactly when and where you screwed up. And oh, don't forget to blame lag, the controller, and maybe your cat or dog. Trust me, it works. Practicing on the map is essential, but remember, no amount of practice can prepare you for that 12-year-old with the cracked ability to land headshots from across the map. It's gonna happen. So in order to combat that, make sure you understand the call out so you can tell me where he is and I can take him out for you. Now we're gonna go quick, so keep up. Red base, blue base, P1, 2, 3, car 1, 2, and 3. Red street, blue street, cooling, and cargo. Each base has a balcony and a lookout, and the balcony is on P side, and the lookout's on car side. We have top middle, and guess what? Bottom middle. And we're done. Oh, there's there's the hole too. Very important. Don't forget about the hole. All right, folks, hold on to your helmets because we're about to dive deep into the complex world of power weapons. And by complex, I mean non-existent. Yep, that's right. No shiny insta-death rocket launcher cannons here. Nada. Zip. Big zero. As for dynamo grenades, well, they're around if you want to light up someone's life in the most violent way possible. But let's not forget about our dear friend Overshield, the only power equipment on the map, perched up high like the last donut at a police station. Getting it is as simple as running the gauntlet of four battle rifles simultaneously trying to redecorate your helmet interior. Good luck with that. All right, just remember, no, you're not safe. And yes, the enemy already knows where you are. Let's dive into some deep philosophical wisdom about spawn points on Starboard. Are you ready for it? It's an octagon. Oh, wait, that's a hexagon. Wait, hold on. Yep, yep, I had it right the first time. It's an octagon. Now don't get scared away by the fancy geometry. Here's the basic gist. If you're chilling on one side, your enemies are having a party on the other. Imagine it like a seesaw, but instead of balancing your weight, you're balancing a constant fear of getting laser beamed. So it's simple. You're here, they're there, and if you move well, adjust your expectations accordingly. Now in ranked, there are two game modes for this map at this point in time. Capture the flag 
and Slayer. I'm gonna give you strategies for both. But you have to understand, if you could just stop being a bullet magnet for one second, these strategies aren't gonna mean anything. So good luck with that. But for Capture the Flag, you technically can go straight down the middle in about 10 seconds. Now remember, the spawn time is 10 seconds. So if you somehow manage to have a guy grabbing the enemy flag and kill the enemy team at the same time, then yes, go straight down the middle. But that's likely never going to work on this map. Just know you can repulse the flag up if you need to, but your best bet is staying on the side where cover actually exists. Barely. For Slayer, look, it's simple, guys. You control P, you control car, and you got one guy in your base. Boom. The final guy is just floating, supporting in between, and you get spawn kills up the wazoo, okay? It's simple. Congratulations. You've mastered literally the easiest to understand map in the game now. You want to know what else is easy? Getting Onyx without jumping, sprinting, and sliding. But if you need something a little more simple for that little brain of yours, then check out this video on how to use cover.